You have entered the Plumbing Business Success Zone, teaching entrepreneurs the business of plumbing. This is Potty Talk Live, recorded live every week. Turn on notifications to never miss an episode. Now your host, Richard Bainey, the Million Dollar Plumber. Hey, 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 plumbing pros, welcome to the 344th episode of Potty Talk Live. Hey there, I'm your host, Richard Bainey, the Million Dollar Plumber. Along with my co-host, the lovely Laura, where we're talking the business of plumbing, how to systemize, stylize, and most importantly, monetize your plumbing business. And we got a great episode for you. The Masters are in the house. Our favorite episodes. Yes, I love when we have the Masters in. Now, the Masters are those that have been through, they've, they've gone through the MDP Academy and all that. They've gone from being you know one truck to multi-truck, even building a multi-million dollar plumbing business. So they've been where you're at and beyond, okay? So yes. they're actually in... They're million-dollar plumbers. Yeah, right. they're, they're going through it, okay? Mm -hmm. So tonight we're going to be talking about... We're going to talk about um, how to create raving fans. Yes. You know, the whole idea of, you know, customer retention. Mm -hmm. And so we just don't want customers. We want raving fans. Of course. All right? So mm -hmm. we're going to talk about that. Okay. Okay? Yeah. That's so a good one. All right. Hey, it's okay. good to have you here as well. Yes. Hey, All right. Everybody. Glad you're here. Mm -hmm. Hey, for those that have been around the block here, you know the routine. If you're watching live, please type live in the comments. Let us know that you're watching live. If you're catching the replay, please type replay. Let us know you caught the replay. And if you're listening to the podcast, which we have over on hey, all the, you know, the, the podcast thingamajiggies, you can get them on anything, okay? <laughs> We're everywhere. Term. We're everywhere. We're You're everywhere. everywhere. You're everywhere. Yes. You know what to do. Mm -hmm. All right, if you're listening, just keep on listening. And make sure you do subscribe if you do are listening on the podcast. Subscribe. To, um, we're all yeah, Google, iTunes, Spotify, all the things. All, right. all the things. Bobby's in the house. The Jersey Boys. Hey Jersey guys. Boys is in the house. Mm -hmm. Good to have you here, Bobby. Jill's in the Jill, house. Hi, Jill. Good to have you here as well. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, and I'm just what, making sure. There we you? go. Um, yeah, so happy Monday, everybody. We, yeah, it is we a good Monday. We were off last week. No, we were all we, <laughs> in more ways than one. What? <laughs> well, we were just kind of. No, oh, we weren't. Last Monday. Oh, we were yeah. in Cancun. We were in Cancun. I know. We were oh. off. Oh. We were, all right. We weren't off. We were off Potty Talk Live. Oh, okay. We're we were off, off the MDP. Country. Right. We were off the, <laughs> off the country. Okay. We were even off our Aliens. rocker a little bit, going a little crazy. <laughs> In Cancun, if you know what I mean, with the lovely Laura. It was very fun. I had a good time, baby. Nice and hot. But good to be back. Hi, you know, We discovered, you know, we're all about here, you know, as we talk about, you know, how to build, all right, a, a you know, a Dumb. million dollar plumbing business while having a life too. So, you know, we mentioned, we talk about creating what we call this freedom lifestyle. Mm -hmm. Well, it occurred to us, we've been living the freedom lifestyle for some time, <laughs> but it occurred to us this past week that we've arrived at the freedom lifestyle. <laughs> Because Hi, we're in this beautiful Shores. resort. That's right. Okay. Yes. Aaron. All right. Yeah, All right. Shores. Live from Gulf Shores. Yes. Hey, Aaron. All right. Nice. Good you know. Guys. So we're in this beautiful resort. Five star res resort. Mm. Palm trees. <laughs> clear water. Pool. The water was gorgeous. You know, mm -hmm. plenty of tequila to go around. Yeah. No. Okay. Mm. All right. Where well, you had me. your thing, whatever. <laughs> and we're just relaxing. And we, we had a great time, very friendly. Yes. You know, after all this silliness going on, you could tell that the people, locals, really wanted to have, you know, people back, tourists, and mm -hmm. were overly friendly. I yes. mean, I just think everybody was friendly. Oh, yeah. It, it was awesome. I mean, it was everybody. Awesome service. Yes. You know, so it was great service. <laughs> But we wound up coming home early. <laughs> by about fourth day. <laughs> by the fourth day, we were like, all right. You ready to go home? <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're having a day. That's right. Let's go home. And that's the freedom lifestyle. Mm -hmm. Kick up on because anytime we can go there anytime. Mm -hmm. But we want to. We live, as we've written, as you know, in the <laughs> hey, Success Johnny. Academy. And the guys out there were talking about your daily GPS for mm -hmm. years. We wrote in our, our daily GPS because even when we we travel and stuff, we always went with this palm trees and yes. water. And so we wanted to live on the water mm -hmm. with, palm with palm trees, trees. and all that kind of stuff. Well, hey, we're, bluegrass plumbing and well, Greg Smith. That's our thing. We, we're there. <laughs> that's what we do. So it's like. <laughs> but it was nice to get away for a little bit. It is. It's always but, good to get away. It's yeah. kind of fun. Mm -hmm. And you know? at Cancun, yeah, they really did roll out the red carpet for tourists. So right. um, Lance, Lance needs a, a trip, trip again. again. Okay. In fact, we're getting ready. Uh, um, well, we have uh, our clients and everybody's coming down. In May. In May. You know, our May. coaching yes, clients MDP are coming retreat. down in May. That's for, always a fun time. We have a yes. good time. But I think you're planning, that. you're wanting to plan something. For the fall. Yes. For the fall, I figured maybe. right around hurricane season. Makes <laughs> the most good. sense. Why so. not? <laughs> 
You live dangerously. <laughs> For those that don't know, last MDP trip to Cancun, we did get caught in the Category 5 hurricane. Direct hit. <laughs> Direct hit. So my Category thought is, five. <laughs> it can't happen again. It's like lightning, right? I figured, yeah, we got right. Yeah, so what are, what are the odds? There's zero chance that Cut to. hurricane will happen to us again. <laughs> oh, <laughs> anyway, so tonight, good. what are we doing? We're talking about. Well, tonight we're talking about how to create raving fans. Hey, question for you. Mm -hmm. Let's get our question up there. Let's do it. What percent of what percentage of your business is repeat customers? Mm. So let me know what, what percentage questions. of your repeat yes. uh, if, if your business repeats customers. Is repeat customers. Okay. Mm -hmm. And if if you don't know, you should know. You should know. Okay, that is mm -hmm. that is a number we want to track. Okay. And Service Titan, that's something if you anybody uses Service Titan, I know that's something you can track in Service Titan as well okay. to see exactly where the calls are coming from. You know, Harvard uh, Business Review mm -hmm. uh, says that it's <laughs> what up to twenty five percent cheaper to retain customers. And to, to, keep, to keep and retain those customers mm. than it is to get new customers. Wow. Oh, so okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna ask our okay. masters if that's true. Mm -hmm. Actually, the ones that have been in the mm -hmm. you know in the trenches. Yeah. If they think that's true. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Okay. Who? Who? Are, okay. I just caught that. Who? Who just said no other way to live but dangerously? That's what I think it was Aaron. Okay. I like that. Aaron. <laughs> all right. There we go. You were created to live dangerously. That's right. All right, men. You were created to be dangerous. Mm -hmm. All right. Men were created to have. Crex is ninety percent. Okay, I'm all. Well, that's fine. ninety. Ninety. That may not be necessarily. Oh, ooh, that's I mean, not that, good, Craig. That's not necessarily good. So we'll, okay. we'll, we'll talk, we'll talk about, about it. It's good to have that repeat, but <laughs> yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. But yeah. Um, good. So okay. I guess there's no right or wrong answer other than sir. ninety percent. <laughs> well, that tells me the phone. The phone. Right. This, we need. Mm -hmm. We need the new. The new coming a in. A new. Yeah. New right. stream of right. clients coming in for sure. Yes. Um, what was ours? Do you recall? No, I never kept track of it. <laughs> no, that's not true. No, we were around that fifteen percent. I mean, we go fifteen, twenty percent. Mm -hmm. You know, okay. yeah, I don't right. remember. Eighteen. I mean, mm -hmm. it, it, but we were always kind of in that. Two twenty, two twenty one, whatever right. it takes. Whatever mm -hmm. it takes. Yeah. So we were always, and there is no real right, but mm -hmm. it is cheaper, and repeat customers spend more. They've already, opened, They've already opened. The whole their thing wallet. is to get them to open their wallet. I mean, right. that's all this is. You know, mm -hmm. uh, once they trust you, mm -hmm. no, they can trust you. Right. Mm -hmm. They open their wallet okay. more readily. All right. Right. Mm -hmm. Yep. So. So well, let's get, well, let's um, get at it. You you, you have any? You want uh, to no, anything? I'm looking at yeah. I'm looking at some fifty fifty percent, seventy percent, seventy percent. So. That's that mm -hmm. means you're reliant on past. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's. Um, that would make me. I'd be a little nervous about that. Mm -hmm. We want the, those new customers calling in, but mm -hmm. you still want you know repeat customers. Definitely. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So there we have. Kay. Hey, well let's, let's well let's find out. Maybe maybe, let's I'm, see what they maybe say. I'm full of crap. Let's yes, let's get the masters in. <laughs> They're actually dealing with it. Okay. You never know. All right. So let's, bring, let's bring our masters in. So I mean, there we go. There they are. Look at our masters. There's our there. masters. Don't they look like masters? Yeah, they do. These guys. Look at those good looking faces. <laughs> hey, we we'll start around the top here. We got we got Mr. Danny Penn. Founder, owner, hey, new, new Era Plumbing. We're doing great, man. Good to see you. Out of Boston, Massachusetts. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Looking good. All right. Mm -hmm. He's killing it there in Boston. Mm -hmm. All right. In the box below, Mr. Penn. All right. We have Mr. Ron Levins, Prestine Plumbing, mm -hmm. out of Indianapolis, Indiana, mm -hmm. our hometown. <laughs> yes. Wait, what's um, Jim Neighbor's song? Back home again in Indiana. There we go. <laughs> ba -ba -boom, ba -boom, ba -boom. And then next to him, we have Mr. Matt Garfold, GI Plumbing, mm -hmm. out of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. All right, yeah. Matt. Good to see you, brother. Yes, and these guys are masters again, just to... Yes, it, just to reiterate, these, all these guys have been through the MDP program. They've, they've been private coaching clients of ours, and they're all million-dollar plumbers and beyond now. So, they've and they started um, not there. Right. How's that? <laughs> That's right. They're right. But they're there now but and there. beyond and going mm -hmm. beyond. Yes. In fact, we're already start talking about selling the businesses. Mm -hmm. I mean, we were just having that conversation yeah, before the, the agreement show. before the show. <laughs> all right. So, mm -hmm. guys, okay. hey, thank you for being on, guys, yes, here. thank you, guys. Hey, I don't hey we've got a London. All um, right. We're, somebody's amazing. You have helped me build a great business. That's fantastic. Ah. I wish I could pronounce your name. Thank you. Um, thank you, Lock and Ven. Ooh. All right. Good to so have you here. So, it's a mate. A mate over <laughs> right. across the pond. Good. Right? Mm -hmm. Well, listen up to these guys, because okay. these guys are going to help you even build your business more. Mm -hmm. Hey, you guys hear me. I know you could hear in the green room. You heard me say, you know, about, we're talking about, is it easier to, to get customers or to keep customers? Mm -hmm. 
in, in your opinions, what is it? Easier to keep or to get new customers? Easier to keep. You need to keep? To keep for sure. You sure? Yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. Cheaper too. Cheap, that's better. Def, 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 very definite. cheaper. Right. <laughs> yeah. So why why is that? Give, give us an example. What what's a real life example? Or mm -hmm. because um, once you stop building trust with the customer, it's just they trust you, mm -hmm. and when they trust you, they they will buy. Well, they want your service, and they, but you have to also put the work in as well to keep those customers. Yeah, like mm -hmm. yep. giving something. I mean, you've already them, spent. Doing, You've already spent money to get into that customer's house. You have to do everything you possibly can so you don't have to spend it a second time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the, <laughs> speaking of the money is the big thing. Now, this, this is some time back. You know, remember back a year, two years ago when the idea, okay, I want to get customers. Okay, you, you got, you've built, you know, you have some repeat customers. So, you know, a hundred, you know, 100% of your business could be repeat, but that's the same 10 customers that you have, right? <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember the emotion? What was it like oh, yeah. for those that are starting out? You know, we have those, you're talking to those. Those that are starting out, the idea of spending money to get customers. Do you have, you remember how that felt and, and what were your fears? Well, yeah, and... we didn't want to do it. <laughs> that's right, that's right. We didn't want to do it. Yeah. I know, right. But, you must have a heart attack when you see that bill. Right, <laughs> right, right. So, but well, um, I think for for me, I had to realize, and it took me a while, that sometimes not every customer is your customer, though. Mm -hmm. Because you can get the customers that you think, oh, they're calling me back. But yet, these are the customers that you don't want. And as you go along in your plumbing business further you will understand that yes because you can um you can put your customer and say hey i don't want you to be my customer because you're not my customer that i want yes so that was mm -hmm. that that is a lesson to learn that not every yeah. customer is your, your customer just because they're they've spent money with you or rake you over the coals <laughs> to get that deal, mm -hmm. and you had to work. Doesn't mean they're you're a customer for life. Mm -hmm. So that that brings the question of what what are some mistakes that you made starting out when it came to you know trying to keep customers and repeat customers? Mm -hmm. Thinking um, that yeah, go ahead, Matt. Got thinking that. Uh, you know, the cheaper price you give them, the best deal you give them is going to keep them calling. Mm -hmm. uh, when in mm -hmm. reality, you're not creating a raving fan. You're not even doing that customer a service. Um, you know, the cheap is not the best solution. Yes. You know, that's, yeah. Matt, that, that is a nugget there, guys. Matt, Matt just threw, threw down a nugget there, nugget of gold. Because that was, that was in our experience, you know, 18 years of, you know, truly being focused on the customer experience ourselves, being focused and being all about it. I can't recall the customers that we bent over backwards to give that deal for and that break that wound up being long-time customers. Mm -hmm. they, just, they just sucked everything they could out of us. And then moved on down the and road. And then they wanted to complain. Right. right. <laughs> you did my job I, two I years ago. That. How come your price is higher? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know. yeah. I, I love, I, I love, Danny, since you're here, I don't want to mean to throw you under the bus or it, that kind of thing. I love how Danny Penn here, I, one time you explained in our group, um, you know, we talk about customer complaints. And you bring that up about price. I, I remember your response one time was, you know, I, di I didn't sell you the water heater. I gave you the water heater for free. I charged you for our service and taking care of you today. Mm -hmm. You know, so right. the water heater was when they were. Mm -hmm. yeah. oh, go ahead, Danny. I'm sorry, go. No. I said, that's what they're paying for. They're paying for your professional, your premium, you know, your your service. That's what they're paying for. Mm -hmm. Right. The parts are free. Yeah. That's what it really is. The parts are free. Right <laughs> and how can I, uh, what I, when you say that to a customer, how can they argue with that? Right. This is true. Mm. You can definitely get somebody cheaper. You know, yeah. But we won't yeah. be the company for you. Right. It's not us. And that's a, that's a race we don't want to win, you know, to the bottom. Right. Race to the bottom. Right. 
Mm-hmm. But or I, the funny one is, the funny one is when a customer says, "Look, it's all right there. It's easy." Well, why'd you call me then? <laughs> right. Exactly. I like I like how, what Micah said here. The promise of future work for the best price. Yes. Biggest mistake a lot of people make. Yes, we, and we Mike. made it in the beginning too. I don't we know, if, you know, like a contractor. Okay, I'll give you this house if you give me, you know, a great deal, right? If you give me your cheapest price, and then you can have all my houses. Or the rental property guys, you know. Yes. You know, you take care of this, and I'll give you all of our rental properties. Yeah. You know that kind of stuff, and it never, it never happens. Okay. Yes. Th- those aren't fans. Those are blood suckers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, where they just okay. they don't appreciate the value, no, right? No, they don't. And, right. Right. And that's what you're selling is value. Dan is right. It's it's you didn't you're not selling a, a water. I almost said hot water tank. Oh. A water heater. You're not selling a water heater. Sorry. See, um, you're not selling a water heater. You're selling the service, the value. We got it in installed today. Right. We, hot water. Right. But I think. To, to go after the, the idea of going after raving fans, I think Danny, it's that mind shift mm-hmm. of, well, I didn't charge you for the parts. I mean, so you don't get in the argument. I can get that water heater at Home Depot for whatever. I, I gave it to you for free. Mm-hmm. I'm charging you for this. <laughs> for the yeah. Same, right, for those of you that are watching, give that a try. Your next time you know, the customer has a complaint about right. price. Uh, let's see. James says, I have learned in my five months of being in business that contractors are the worst. It is. They don't oh. value... Mm. They don't value you, yeah. and, and, and there's nothing wrong with them. They're just doing what they do. They right. value the lowest price. That's their job. That's their job um, mm-hmm. to get the lowest price. Yes. Okay. Um, Toby, um, he's on social media. The best way for a new plumber to build brand and gain customers before and after pictures. Yep. Um, yeah. So social media is free, right? So that's right. an, an e- uh, inexpensive way to get started. But you need your LSAs and your GMB too. Yes. For sure. So, okay. um, <laughs> Alex, many landlords and maintenance companies are more like leeches than customers. Uh, they suck you dry and then they move on. Yes. Can you all, can you guys nod your heads with that? Do you guys agree <laughs> with that? <laughs> right. Well, we all did it, right? I mean, right. All, all you guys started out, I'm yeah. sure, with contractors or, yeah. Right. Yeah. Contractors, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. How long did it take you? That's where the money is. Yeah. Oh, yeah, right, right. Danny, if I remember, you did a lot of, you did a lot of new construction in the beginning. Oh, yeah. Right? A lot. Mm. Yeah. Same here. We dropped it all in the bad habit the day we signed up with you guys. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. How's that worked out for you? <laughs> Please, I hope it's positive. I should ask, you should know <laughs> yeah, the answer to the question. Know the answer to the question. <laughs> <laughs> Seven vans later, and I'm sitting in a comfy chair. It all worked out pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and yep. seven seven trucks later, and that's just been in the last fourteen months, right? Yep. Yeah. yeah. So that's pretty pretty good. And once growth. you put these, yeah, mm-hmm. get these, and all residential. Yep. All right. Hey, I want to bring you guys back here in a moment. We're going to talk about actually how you create raving fans, okay? But yes. I got a, I got a giveaway here. For those that are watching, whether you're watching live or watching the replay or listening to the podcast, mm-hmm. I want to give you my free blueprint, okay? My MDP blueprint. Where in it, I have all the specs that you you got to know, okay? You I don't, know. It sounds self serving, but you got to <laughs> know these specs. Just like when, when you're plumbing a house, you got to know the specs, right? These are the specs that you've got to know if you're looking to build a successful, self-sustaining, keyword this, self-sustaining and very profitable plumbing business. I lay it all out in there for you in my blueprint, and it's free. Simply type free in the comments or go to themilliondollarplumber.com forward slash free and grab your free copy. All right, there you have it. Okay, all so right. I'm just looking at some of the comments here. Um, Amanda wants to know, when we bring them back on, she has a question for Danny. Um, but yeah. Okay. Well, um, and also, guys, give us give us some um, thumbs up and love bombs and all that. Yeah, help us get the word out here. Yeah. Share us. Okay. Because Facebook likes um, engagement and all those things, right? So it certainly okay. does help with the algorithm yeah. to to. All right. Uh, so help get... us be able to speak with others and more. Correct. All right. I know with the guys, we're not, we're not all you know. I'm not sitting here on my thing giving out hearts. That's just not something I do. Yeah. Right. Well, but, you so can guys, give, a hug. Not, give, give me some love, man. Okay, give me some love. All right. You could do a hug. Yeah, do, or do the male thing. Mean face. Okay. If you want right. to do a mean face, whatever. Okay. All it, all, right. it all helps. Hey, so. let's, let's bring our masters back in. Okay, Mr. Danny Penn, <laughs> mm-hmm. New Era Plumbing, Boston, Massachusetts. Mm-hmm. Ron Blevins, mm-hmm. Christine Plumbing, out of Indianapolis, Indiana. Indianapolis. Matt Garfold, Chi Plumbing, out of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Mm-hmm. Masters are in the house. 
All right, so we've talked a little bit about mistakes we made. We've all made those mistakes, okay? It is cheaper to keep a customer, okay? It can be a lot cheaper. That goes right to the bottom line, mm -hmm. all right? What are some things that you do to... We're not talking about just creating happy customers. You know, no one wakes up in the morning and wants to call a plumber, right? We all realize that. <laughs> and so it's, they don't want to really be calling us and all that. But what are the things we can do to not just create happy customers, but create raving fans mm -hmm. where they want to brag about, well, we use GI plumbing. Well, right. I, can't, I can't believe what my plumber did, right. you know, in a good way. Right. What? So we want, we want to hear stories. We want to hear some of the things that you consistently do, things you've kind of gone out of your way and done something unique. How are you creating raving fans? Anybody go? Yeah, so I, I'll start. Um, you know, first and foremost, it all starts um, from the beginning. You know, and our mission statement is to provide the greatest customer experience to ever exist. Um, you know, so your team has to believe in it. Uh, you, you guys, your guys can't go out there and fake it. Um, you know, you got to have core values and the guys live by them. But some of the things we do uh, that we're actually one we're starting to implement is Taco Tuesdays. I bought each of my guys uh, just something to re the customer remembers. I bought each of my guys sombreros and maracas. And when they finish <laughs> and they come to close out the job, they bring, you know, they shake it or they wear a hat and they uh, they give the customer a $10 Taco Bell gift card for Taco Tuesday just <laughs> for booking on a Tuesday. <laughs> Um, <laughs> yeah, just something to remember. You know? gonna, that'll stick that's, out in their minds, right? Yes. For sure. <laughs> that's a really it's, good it's idea. It's fun that. and unique. You know, mm. people like tacos, and it's not something you expect from your plumber. Right. Guys, it ain't about plumbing. It's not right? about it, the plumbing. It, it, it ain't about the plumbing. They expect us to do that right. Mm -hmm. So for us to yeah. spike the football because we finished the plumbing job, <laughs> that's, that's nothing. All right. You know, mm -hmm. but Janet, I love that Taco you, Tuesday. Taco Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> Danny, what about New Era? What so, does New Era do? So we make it a priority where we have our technician um, before they get dispatched to the to the job site. They have to call the customer and just ask them, "Hey, we're on our way. We're like twenty minutes away. We're just grabbing Dunkin' Donuts or Starbucks for you. Anybody in your home." want anything so you'll be building that oh. that relationship already or of like lunchtime we ask hey we're stopping by and getting a sub but do anybody in your home want anything so we're creating that relationship then after when we get there we listen listen don't rush through the calls listen to the concern build that relationship you know um because you, can, you can't rush everything um listen to them ask them what they're doing how was their weekend or how was how was the day, basically? And remember their name. Don't say, hey, where's your wife? Like, know her name. Right. Like, That's right. like know the kid's name. Like, know the dog's name if they have a dog. Right. Like, that's what they like to do. <laughs> like, you know, build that relationship. And then after that, when we present solutions to them, have them decide. And once you do the job, you know, we we just ask them, is everything, is, are you satisfied with everything? You know? Um, then after that, our, C our office and a CSR will write like a thank you card, and we'll oh. give out gift cards as well. And we're mm -hmm. and what we're trying to do too now is getting with our local like restaurants like in town, and then um, buying gift cards. And then every job that we do, we will send it out with a thank you card, handwritten, wow. because it just shows more value versus just a generic like printout, you know. Mm -hmm. So right. And, nice. the, and if they have kids, we give like pop ups or coloring books. Like that's the stuff that we we do for our customers. Do you guys have coloring books, Danny? Yes, just a, just a single page, nothing mm. crazy. Well, yeah. is it we're going to be making a book, but we just have a sheet. Yeah, I is thought. Brady? You, weren't you looking to do like or a new era? Is it Brady with Brady or Brody or whatever? Brody, yeah, Brody, yeah, Brody your it. your guy, and you know, it's kind of a superhero kind of a guy. Yeah. So if, yeah, if you had, and New Era's got a great. Um, brand, um, New Era Plumbing, so if anybody wants to check it out, they've got a really good, everybody here does, but they've got a character that's a, kind of a superhero Hero. kind right. of guy, so yeah, that would All be right. good on a coloring book. I love sure. that. Mm -hmm. And you know, and really we look at this, well that has nothing to do with plumbing. Mm -hmm. Well, that's the point, it has nothing to do with plumbing, it's, it's an experience. What we're really selling um, is an experience, okay, we're not, we're not selling fixing plumbing, nope. okay, we're selling an experience. And who pays for that experience? 
The customer. The customer. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there we go. Okay. I didn't know if we know the answer to that one. I, I kind of said, no, these these guys do. All right. All right. Customer pays for everything. It's just mm -hmm. part. It's part of your marketing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. What What and about it's you? It's not just oh, the go one. Ahead, Matt. Oh. No, go ahead. I was just going to say it's not. It's not just one particular thing either. I mean, you guys. This can be a two hour show if you really wanted to on how to actually, it is a whole drawn out process that starts from the second you answer the phones to the second you, you leave the job and close it out. I mean, there is so much stuff that you have to be done and, and from start to finish in order to create that raving fan. You know, it's great to have the Taco Tuesdays and the Kellering books, but you really have to figure out what works and nail down your own process for your customers so they can say, wow. I never expected that from a plumbing company. Exactly. Right. That's exactly what you want to have someone say. And Ron, well, what does Prestine sure. do? What, what's something unique or so, something you're focused on? I know you have a love, you know, you support a couple of different things and, mm -hmm. and that kind of stuff. Sure. Um, that is one thing that we do. Make sure you get involved with local, um, you know, companies in your community. Um, what I found here lately that's really powerful for us um, is the day after we go out there, I will call them or a service manager will call the customer and make sure, I don't care if it's a $59, just a call that we came out and we got nothing for it, just to make sure that there was no confusion and to make sure the technician did everything um, correctly um, that they don't have any questions that we didn't answer for them. We also give gift bags out um, mm. and things like that. Mm. Um, What's in the gift had bag? Customers, um, you know, candy. There's um, chocolate. Uh, mm. There's flowers sometimes. So doesn't love chocolate. Um, yeah. Um, my biggest thing though is communicating with the customer, but also. Um, customers want to feel like they are the number one customer, even yes. though you might have thousands of customers, mm. they want to feel like they're always getting treated in a way that nobody else is. Mm -hmm. So that personal attention, whether that's even like a pristine promise, for example, this is a way to, to, uh, get customers. Um, yeah, you can sell the one year, you know, just pay one time. But if you sell that monthly one, they're always going to have pristine in their mind every month because it comes out of their their card. Mm -hmm. right. So they're constantly thinking about that. So mm -hmm. yes. just little things like that that mm -hmm. go a long way, I think. Yeah, pristine. So, what is it? Pristine promise? That's your membership? That's your membership maintenance? Your service, yeah. service yeah, agreement? Yeah, so we'll come out once a year. We'll uh, check all the plumbing out, flush the water heater. Um, Basically, anything like that. And we'll even bring your mail up to you or your newspaper. Right. Well, you don't have a newspaper anymore, but <laughs> always wear your booties. Like, those things really are so important. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, our guys also take pride in, um, we use a rug. So when we go down in there, we put the rug on so that the area that they're working in is cleaner when we leave it. Yes. When we go. So, yes. So and, it's all and, part of the experience. Right. Right. And I know that's something, you know, um, I don't know who mentioned it here, but um, I may be mad at this, this whole experience. You have to hit every one of these points. So everyone in your team has to be on. And you, so you got to have your team focused to doing these kinds of things. It can't be that we're friendly on the phone and then our guy gets out there and decides just because I'm not normally friendly that I just don't give a whatever, so I'm going to do, mm. we've, we've lost it, you know, mm. that, that kind of a thing. And so I know each one of you guys, because I, I know that you, you, know, you have your guys focused on that, and you remind them. We had to remind our guys for 18 years, every Monday, mm -hmm. you know, <laughs> here's what we do. All right, remember, say thank this you. Week, this week's the same. Wear your footies. <laughs> I, mean, every, I mean, it was this every week, mm -hmm. just, just to remind them, we're still doing this, mm -hmm. okay? You know, mm. and what I love, the good news yes. is there's never been a better time to stand out from the crowd because I swear the service mentality has just left the building. Yes. I mean, it's like, it's very rare 
now to get people, quality the service. Quality, since the whole co, you know, all this, it's it's broken the idea mm -hmm. of serving people. So that it's uh, it's you can almost be not you know 100 percent at it, mm -hmm. and, and you, you can still stand be out. better. Yeah. Right. If you've flown on an airline anytime recently, you'll know exactly what, what we're talking right. about. Right. Service is gone. So, yeah, creating raving fans um, um, it, it should be easier for sure. Um, you know, Ron, I was mentioning, you know, with the idea of calling back the customer, you know, we, we did would do that as well. Mm -hmm. I remember, I, did you feel this way? The idea, I was afraid I'd open up a hornet's nest. It was fear mm -hmm. that, okay, because just like when we talk about when we're taking the call, like when we take the phone call, the initial call, we, at the end, we don't ask, well, do you have any more questions? You know, it's like once we get a book, we hang up. Yeah, hang up. You know, we just, we're not going <laughs> to, do you have any more questions? Because they will. And it's not questions we want to answer at that time. Well, so it's the same thing of calling back. My initial fear was, if I call back, it's just going to be pelted with all these problems. Mm -hmm. But I found that not to be the case. How about you, it, Ron? What, are you, what about you? Well, yeah. well. For me, it, it one it it holds your technicians accountable a little bit right. because they know that if I hear something that you didn't do, I want to know why. Right. But you would also be surprised how many calls you can capture because a, a simple question they had was a confusion, and then I answered it, and they're like, "Oh, well, that's a case. Let's do it." Like mm. just things like that. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, yes. I like Toby here. You guys see what Toby does? Uh, my my new uh, promotion. My new promotion is giving is, animal lovers yeah. and their customers a certificate that can make a donation to a cat charity, a cat for pet pe for cat people, and dog charity for dog people. Tremendous response. Yeah, especially if I mean, because people love their animals, their pets, right? Right. So yeah, that's really good, Toby. Good for you. Mm -hmm. Yep. And then you're also giving back. Yeah, go ahead, Danny. Oh, I'm sorry to cut. Nope, you're good. Um. Uh, this is probably off topic, but um, speaking of like, you know, nobody don't want to walk away with, you know, with the evaluation fee or diagnostic fee. But what we started doing and one of the one of our customers said, wow, you guys really do something like that. So, you know, we charge ninety nine dollars or eighty nine dollars. Um, we just told them, where do you want to donate it to? And he's like, what? He was just so confused. I'm like, yeah, where do you want to donate it to? He, then he said he want to donate it to St. Jude. And we're like, yeah, um, so we're going to donate it tomorrow. And then we're going to send him a letter with St. Jude saying thank you for donation. Because what am I going to do with 89 or $99? It's nothing. Mm -hmm. That's great. Oh, yeah. It's really not. It's just going to be That's a bad really review. Good. But we, we're going to give a donation. So they picked the, they, they, they're going to pick where they wanted to donate it. But make sure uh, you do it, though. Right, <laughs> right. I right. love right. that. That is good. That's See? a really good yeah. idea. Danny yeah. you know, which shows, you know, ultimately we're, we're trying to build a relationship with these customers, mm -hmm. right? And getting them to trust us and that, that it's not just all about money. They know we want to sell our work and they mm -hmm. do, you know, and they don't want to spend any money with a plumber. Mm -hmm. So that kind of a thing is just showing, we'll take this and, you know, whatever you want to, you know, that's great stuff. Mm -hmm. And that winds up turning into not just a happy customer, a raving fan. but a raving fan. Mm -hmm. I can't believe that's, you know, that this is how this company operates. Right. And mm -hmm. that's... And the, I like too, Danny, what you said about calling ahead of time and you know we're stopping at Starbucks or whatever. I would assume most people are, will say, "No, that's oh. fine, I'm good." But you've established um, a relationship, a human right? connection, from the, yeah, a connection from the very beginning over food, right? Right. So, which goes a long way in the sales process. When we, we get all wrapped up in the sales, <laughs> you know, trying to make these guys salesmen, it's just a relationship. They're already sold if they've called you. Yeah. The customer's already sold. It's just us screwing it up, okay? <laughs> so it's just doing these kinds of things, which builds, you know, trust. Mm -hmm. Customers purchase from those they know, like, and trust. Yes. And if you can really build that sense so they know you and can really feel that they like you, which is going to be ultimate trust, that, that leads to creating a raving fan mm -hmm. that's not just going to want to, you know, they're going to want to brag about you. You know, I want to ask you guys too, because um, I know we're getting ready to wrap up. What is you know, we're talking to an yeah. awful lot of plumbing business owners, most that are probably one or two trucks, right? Just starting out where you guys were, you know, a few months ago or a few years ago. What's the best advice you can give someone starting out? Um, something that you're like, oh man, I I made I did this and that was really stupid. Whether it's on this topic or just something that you right. know, 
Yeah, because again, we're, this, this this is out there for all the world to see. This will live in infamy. What's the best advice you can give someone mm. starting out? Mm. Um, sign up to the Success Academy. Right. And <laughs> no, the checks in the mail, know, Danny. Know your, <laughs> yeah, know oh, your okay. HHR. Like, know know what you're charging. Don't go buy another comp like the competition price. You, don't do that. Know what you need to charge. Because if you don't, then you're gonna be doing this for nothing. You know, yeah. and plumbing. So, okay. No, um, need to charge. Get out of the construction. Yeah. Get out of the construction. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What about you guys, Ron or Matt? So uh, for me is don't go cheap on the things that mm. put you out there. And mm. what I mean by that is your, your logo, um, mm. um, and make sure you're spending money the right way as far as advertising and things like and don't be afraid to spend it mm. um, because that money will come back if as long as you pay attention to it or you have a beautiful wife like i do that really pays attention to it <laughs> and then we just do what she says and then everything's good right yes. i have one of those so. too <laughs> in fact everybody every everyone in this yeah, room has one of those being transparent here, we are all PPCs, plumbing power couples, meaning we are in business and have been with our better others, which has helped a lot. Yes. Yes. Good one, Ron. Good. Good one. How about you, Matt? Yeah, so I would say, um, you know, it's a, it's a combination of, of really three things, um, which I've all learned from you two, as well as your success academy another pitch for you um but really it is 100 percent worth it but number one non-negotiables you got to have them number two core values you got to have them but believe in them they're not just words on a paper mm. and your team has to uh mm. whether it's it may only be you in a van now or you and another guy but you got to plan ahead um so you got to have those core values and you only hire people that fit those core values and number three is in order to create a raving fan, you have to, it costs money, okay? And in order to have the money to spend to get that raving fan, you have to charge accordingly. You are not taking advantage of nobody by charging what it costs for you to be in business. You're not. Mm -hmm. You're not there to provide a simple solution, permanent solutions, so that they can go on with their lives. And if something is to happen, you charge mm. enough that you have money in the bank to come back and take care of the warranty that you gave them. Perfect. Amen. Yes. Amen. Love that. All Ashley right. says, fall forward. If you don't know what that means, learn that quick. That's, right. That's the, the better half of GI plumbing right there. Right. <laughs> the smart half. The smart right. plumbing. Okay, you can say that. Build, um, build, build your brand. Um, uh, build brand. Up your value. Be professional, Toby said. Of course. Right. And I know, Ron, um, you said too, but yeah, your branding is important. Guys, um, you, you start out with some clip art on the side of your truck and, and your value just goes down. Piece so. Of crap. Yes. Yeah. And all these guys have um, rebranded. Um, yeah. Yeah. All you guys did I two did with it. Kick Charge and then one with um, Prolific, right? You know, this, yeah. This, yeah. You know, this is just like in professional sports. You got you got to be, a, you know, play with the pros to be in the majors. You, you got to major up. Mm -hmm. You know, this is professional plumbing. This isn't hack plumbing. Right. And especially when we're talking about creating raving fans. Think about the fans that are in the stands, you know, of your favorite team or whatever. Mm -hmm. And what are they raving about? Are they raving about because they're a bunch of losers and look like a bunch of hacks playing ball or whatever? You yep. know, they got cheapest tickets. <laughs> you know, Up in the nosebleeds. You know, they're in love with, it. They're in love with their team, right. you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, that, that's what, you, you know, we want to create. Mm -hmm. Oh, guys, lots of nuggets of gold lots here. Lots of nuggets of gold. Love it, guys. Hey, thanks for sharing. Thanks mm -hmm. for taking your time. I know, you know, Mondays are busy and long days. Uh, thank you for taking your evening to, to hang out with us and, yes. and to share your knowledge. Appreciate it, guys. Do appreciate it. No, we appreciate you We're guys having industry. me on here. Dream yeah, come true. You, uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. you can mark that off. Your, check that off your, your bucket list, right? <laughs> bucket list check. <laughs> <laughs> we right, need guys. to get him a new bucket list. Yeah, we do need. We do. All right, we'll work on that next session, All right. Matt. <laughs> All right, guys. All right, guys. Hey, hang out. Hang out in the green room. We'll be yes, with you. We'll be with you in, in a second. Just a little bit here. I want to be okay. able to talk a little Sounds bit. Good. All, All right. right. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. All right. Okay. Great I love our Masters. Masters edition. You know, it's hey, fun. gang, you know, these guys, you know, mm -hmm. if you're if you're truly serious about, you know, building your, your plumbing mm -hmm. business, look, these guys mm -hmm. where you were at, okay? And they're, they're now beyond. 
okay, and, yes. and, and going beyond. And they went through all the tough stuff in the beginning. Right. You know, and we were we were we we're with them through a lot of that, and it's hard having right. owning a plumbing business and starting a plumbing business. is difficult. It's it's not for the weak of heart. If it were easy, you know, everyone, everyone doesn't get a do you know everyone doesn't get a trophy. They do not. You know? Right. But you get you okay. got to decide. You got to decide up here that that's what you want, and right. as long as you decide, and and not give up, you will succeed. And we know these, you know, these are, you know, happen to be our clients, personal clients mm -hmm. as well. And so we, we know these guys and we know their stories. And I know each one of these guys are very talented, very smart, mm -hmm. you know, talented plumbers. Mm -hmm. um, but they're humble. Yes. So I know that they would have no problem saying that, hey, if we can do it, you can do it. Absolutely. You know, mm -hmm. um, but, but it's doing the right things. And, okay? and then just, and when you do the wrong thing, you fix it and you move on and you keep going. You right. don't give up. That's well. That's where Ashley mentioned. Your, that's what the term came. You fall forward. Mm -hmm. As long as you're falling forward, you yeah. got to be moving. You know, so Movement make make that life. decision. Fall. You know, fall forward. Mm -hmm. If you if you try something new for customers and it's not well taken, like one of the things we did with our customers to create oh, raving goodness. fans to make our guys different. <laughs> I got these silver uh, briefcases <laughs> and the foam, and so they could put their you know a flashlight and the channel locks. You know, and instead and some, of their tool bag, instead of their tool bag for initially when you go in, so they look all fancy. Well, my guys rebelled at totally. that point. <laughs> so you will find one. So that didn't work. Okay, so I adapted. You know, I, I am so, not carrying <laughs> in a silver briefcase. Uh, mm. Also, you know, we handed out uh, Mary Kay. Mary Kay bag. Mary, mm -hmm. you know, and the guys, you know, little pink, cute little pink bags with bows and all that tied up, and you know, the guys, you know, and and we even had to say hand it out to Mr. Jones, for right. the lady of the house. <laughs> so the guys always felt awkward. But we did that work. The did, guys yeah. would do that. Mm -hmm. So I had to, pr you know, you know. <laughs> You just all right. I like the Taco Tuesday idea. That is a great. That is yeah. I right. want to see pictures right. of the guys with the sombrero and right. the maracas. But the key, you see, in all their <laughs> things, you hear it's just stuff that just loves the customer. It's mm -hmm. something different. Yes. Okay. It ain't about plumbing. Give okay. them that experience. That's right. It's an experience. You're not experience. there to fix plumbing. Mm -hmm. You're there to provide an experience. Right. And so it's along that mindset of like Taco Tuesday, mm -hmm. of how Danny said. You know, when they come back and they, you know, ever have a, you know, the customer saying, well, there are only 400 water heaters, only $400 at Home Depot. Mm -hmm. Well, ours are free. I didn't charge you for the water heater. Mm -hmm. I charge you for getting you, taking care of you today, our service and mm -hmm. the warranty and everything that comes with it. Mm -hmm. it, it. That's the mindset. Yes. Okay. And that's how you create raving fans. Yep. So I love it. Great stuff there. Yes. Hey, go back and listen to these guys. Mm -hmm. Listen between the lines. Okay? They're very smart. And I'm just looking at comments here. Right. Um, yeah, thanks, everybody. He's loving the show. So Good. I think Masters are one of our, our most popular. Right. Well, hey, these guys are in the trenches right mm -hmm. now with you. Mm -hmm. So they, they understand. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So listen to these guys. Mm -hmm. so they, but they also threw us a bone. They mentioned the Success Academy, <laughs> and that's a good segue too. Mm -hmm. You know, if you're serious about growing your plumbing business, look, I've made it simple for you. Okay, a uh, little, little plug here, and it's, uh, it's kind the of Million a Dollar plug. Plumber Success Academy. <laughs> all right, and in it, I've laid out everything you need to know, just you know, in bite-sized modules. Okay, I've laid it out so you know there's a lot there to grasp. I've laid it out purposely, so that you can you can grasp it, you can consume it. All right, and then you can put it into play, and then everything builds on itself. It's like it's like plumbing a house. You got the first rough, second rough, finish, and there's even things in between. Right? The same thing goes with with building your plumbing business. Okay, and I laid it out, made it easy for you. Okay, and you can check it out. I want I, you know I'm going to hook you. All right, 14 day free trial. Okay, so it won't cost you anything. You can get in there and see the first module we talk about, which they talk about building your honest hourly rate. The very first so module. You, so you learn that right off the bat. Mm -hmm. Okay, so simply type success in the comments or go to the million dollar plumber.com forward slash success. All right, grab your 14 day free trial now. All right, again, thank you for our masters. All right, and thank you to you for joining us. And as always, before I let you go, I want to remind you that you were purposely, wonderfully created, and you were created to do great things. So plumb like a champion. Bye. Potty Talk Live with Richard Bainey, the million dollar plumber. If you enjoyed this show, share it now. Just do it. To catch past episodes and get alerts for new episodes, turn notifications on now. And join us again for more tips, techniques, and strategies to help you grow your plumbing business.